Hello guys, uh, today we will uh, start to use Autodesk AutoCAD 2017 and we will start for uh, two dimensional uh, drawing first we will set up our workspace into basic 2D workspace we can still use all the icons in the that we have seen here in the to, in the toolbars menu but uh, for me uh, we need to set up first in the workable uh, workspace for 2d uh, works so what we will do is first type star mode value 0 then hit enter or the space bar so what we will do the on this one I will show you star star mode you type and then enter a new value for uh, star mode we already have the zero but I will make zero and then enter when uh, hitting the enter or the space bar is the same function second type copy for option and check show tool steep show roll over tool tip and display file uh, tool tips that then click ok so copy and then enter so we will uncheck the show tools tips show roll over tool tips and display file tabs okay and then we we'll click okay another thing copy again enter so we will set up our display so crosshair originally should be here so for the beginners better make it big size and we'll not touch this extra display and 70 and open and save mostly the drawing that we have received maybe it's been done from AutoCAD 2004 mod uh, software so we will intend to save all our drawing 2000 for the issue only here is the big files but at least uh, when we uh, transfer our drawing to another uh, uh, draftsman then they can you are sure that your drawing can be read by their program okay so there are choices here uh, AutoCAD release 14, AutoCAD 2000, 2004, 2013 so all of this you can you can choose whatever you want but I will choose the 2004 so so that, that they, they can uh, they can open my drawing even they have uh, uh, 2004 software then plot and publish okay uh, documents save continuously so automatic save plot and publish so this will automatic uh, saving all the uh, our uh, job even uh, we forget to save it so system printable area system so we don't need to touch this user preference so this one we need to make sure I will use millimeters so millimeters okay and then line weight so check if you, uh, if you want uh, to change the line weight uh, default is 0.25 so millimeters okay 
black editor settings so you don't need to change all of these but the, this one uh, originally it's uh, there is a uh, if you want to change this one into aerial and regular regular 12 so you can just what it's already changed default scale 1 is to 1 imperial okay so one paper unit equal one drawing unit so a matrix then click ok so drafting so auto snap we will uh, you can adjust this this portion and you can adjust on this portion as well and then click all of these colors so you can also change the colors sheet for the sheet and layout you can see here layout in the and down model layout layout so uniform background white model space is this one model space background black okay 3d parallel parallel projection we are not doing the 3d at this time but we, we will uh, command line so the command line you you can also change the color background the text so if you want the white so you can see check white but i will choose green so it's easy to see active from background from temporary from background so okay the plot preview uniform background white okay so you don't need to change what else okay apply and close 3d modeling we will not touch this selection so also this selection pick box for a for a pickup box so you can adjust and then click apply so all okay system publish user preference okay then apply and click okay okay so the next the next what we will do is the third type tool and select tool palettes close and hit enter or space bar tool sorry tool palette close okay and hit the space bar then type ribbon and select ribbon close ribbon select ribbon close so all our ribbon is close on the top can see this ribbon is close okay. now next is click the down the drop down menu quick access toolbar and select show menu toolbar okay so this is the quick down menu toolbar okay show menu toolbar so now file edit view insert formal tools draw dimension modify windows help express parametrics already shown okay so next type negative toolbar then choose draw and click show so here click here negative tool toolbar okay type draw enter and then click this show so now you have you have here the basic draw toolbar okay next right click right click the draw toolbar then choose the 2d toolbar shows such as dimensions layers modify so let's begin uh, let's see this 
right click right click so dimension so now we have another toolbar okay and again uh, layers okay so we have here what else modify and modify to modify modify yes and modify to okay what else standards you can click anywhere in this toolbar right click i mean standard click standard okay so we have a standard toolbar here on the top okay you can right click again anywhere to get the uh, what what is uh, the next one here UCS UCS2 and view okay UCS UCS here in the down okay then click again scroll down UCS2 okay then view so now we have view here also okay the next workspaces view ports so another one view ports right click view ports click and then you don't need to open everything this but uh, if you want you can open workspace then right click again let's see I check everything okay now we can rearrange the toolbar as per our desired arrangement in our workspace now I will arrange so here I will put it in the left put on the right and this I will put on the top these uh, layers I will put it here and this I will put it here this I will put it down and also this put it here this I will just close this and this I'll put it here okay okay guys we have now 2d uh, view for our uh, uh, 2d uh, modeling workspace so I will remove this uh, grids visible grids in the in my desktop click display grid on or off and now we remove it and then don't forget to save as your my 2d or save as current my 2d work space okay and then save 